Hello everybody, it's Neil and today I'm going to be playing the dark side of the moon. Now you might notice straight away that I've decided not to put my face cam on this one. Don't worry, I haven't suffered some grotesque injury that uh, I don't want to show everyone. <laughs> um, I just figured since this is an FMV game, maybe in order to be more immersive, I would do this game without face cam. Um, I'll be recording myself anyway. Uh, if anything shocking happens, I elicit a reaction that warrants my face, I'll stick it on. But in the meantime, I'm going to do this playthrough without a face cam. Uh, just to see how it is, let me know if you preferred it without the distraction of my face, if you prefer it with my reactions. Um, you know, it's a bit of an experiment. If you have an opinion, do let me know. Um, I haven't got a problem showing my face cam during a video like this but I figure since this is going to be a more cinematic experience perhaps show the entire game on the screen without having me cover things up and distract from it so again let me know your feedback would be very much appreciated if you'd prefer not to see my face in <laughs> games that are FMV style then let me know if you'd rather see my reactions and again let me know and who knows i could always re-upload this video with my facial reactions if you really want to see it anyway um so this is dark side of the moon i don't know anything about this game other than that it's an fmv game featuring my new favorite fmv actor rupert booth uh, if you don't know who rupert booth is check out my partner's gameplay video gold rose mage i'll leave a link in the description below in brackets if I remember, close brackets, of Contradiction, which featured Rupert who's the main character. He was absolutely fantastic and it's worth watching. If anything, just for him. Like the rest of the game's great as well, don't get me wrong, but Rupert Booth takes it to another level. There he is, that was him. Uh, looking very angry there. Uh, I don't know how involved he is in this because I thought he was going to be a lot more involved than he was in Bloodshot which is another great FMV game, a battle royal FMV game um, but we'll see, we'll we'll see how this goes I'll try and remain quiet throughout because obviously we want to see and hear the story um, but if there's I need to pipe up I will and if there's portions of the game that elicit uh, a response then of course I will give my thoughts and opinions so let's get rolling. Good and evil, light and dark, the eternal struggle resonating through time and space. You're scared, scared. Gideon. Gideon. Scared? Yeah. Of what? Of me. of me. Pathetic. Nothing scares me, Sarah. Least of all you. We both know that's not, that's true. not true. You're scared of love. love. You know nothing. Nothing of true power. Evil isn't Evil power. Is power. It's weakness. I can destroy the universe with a snap of my fingers. Yes, yes. You can. You can. But you're alone. Alone, alone, alone from alone eternity. eternity. Oh, how can I be alone? When I have you. You, you don't, have, don't me. have me. He does. He does. Then, he then he will pay. pay. There's your weakness, Sarah. I'm going to make him suffer. And all you can do is watch. Oh, Gideon. You have no idea of our real strength. <laughs> then the game. Ninety nine point nine percent certain that that male voice there was Rupert. <laughs> so whether that's going to be a uh, major character or not, we'll see. Maybe he's just a narrator. Darren Hall is that the name of the building down there? <laughs> If there's ever any doubt what a British countryside looks like, the reason why you could tell this is somewhere in the UK. 
is because it looks gorgeous and lovely and then there's pylons at the back that just completely ruin the horizon. A lot of halls in this. Maybe there's a Jimmy Hall that we haven't seen yet. On the news channel, is there a chicken in the background? Preparing for its greatest invasion since the Norman Conquest, as this is the prime location to watch the solar eclipse in two days' time. Thousands are expected to join the community, and Mary Wine Hall is booked to capacity. However, not all residents are happy with the number of so-called UFO nuts. Is that a cross between Tim Curry and Craig Charles? This is Brandy Mantle of Portsmouth Road. Claims that her prized chihuahua has choked on dangerous balloon debris and has called for these drunken revelers to be removed from the country. Perhaps your issue is one of intolerance rather than threat from aliens. Hugh Chadwick, Mary Wine News, back to the studio. Throughout this story, you will be given interactive choices. Be careful which choices you make as these will determine, these can and will determine how the story progresses. Some choices can bring positive outcomes and some choices will not. Use carefully. Whether we'll actually be on a time limit or whether we'll have a limited time to make these choices remains to be seen. Take out the rubbish, so British. I guess we'll say goodnight to our children. What I like is that it's clearly a PS4 controller, but it just sounds like generic made up video game music. Hey Andy, come on, turn it off now mate. It's in the morning, okay? Oh dad, I'm in the middle of a game, can I just finish? Andy, turn it off now. Whatever. Yeah, whatever, I'll give you whatever. Anyway, see you in the morning mate, okay? Love you. Now mate. Your save states and... Things like that now, bruv. No excuse, turn your damn games off. <laughs> I think that makes a difference. Uh -oh. Don't forget to be scuttled. Like, obviously, you've woken the girl up. Oh, cuddles, I am so sorry. Good night, cuddles. Dad, I wish Mama was still here. We both do. We both wish you were still But, and I'll tell you what, how about tomorrow? Me and you play with those toys we got from the camp sale. How does that sound? Yay! Yay! Okay. Yay. Right, come on, I've got to go now. You need to get some sleep. <laughs> night night. Hey, Dad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you stop having those dreams. Right. Here I am again. Oh, I'm never going to get to bed at this rate. Right, what have we said about dreams before? Dreams are just that. They're just dreams. They're not real, okay? Besides, what's that up there? Dream catcher. Yeah, and who bought you that? Mama. And why did she buy that? To keep the bad dreams away, okay? And you know what? Besides all that, Daddy's here, and Daddy will never, ever let anything happen to you, and Daddy will always be here for you, okay? I promise. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
look forward to tomorrow. We've got some toys to play with. <laughs> right, okay, so Nanite, Ruby, Nanite, Mr. Cuddles. <laughs> Get some sleep. Nanite, sweetheart. Yeah, some hey, toys to play with. <laughs> Nanite, sweetheart. Oh, I love in the subtitles that you put Nanite. I suppose it's Nan Knight, not Nan at Night. Oh, what, are you getting No Man's Sky? Well, that's a little sus. But let's not forget the big news from around the globe here, Susie. The total eclipse. <sighs> Tell me about it, Ken. And it was only three years ago since the last eclipse. Can you believe that? Talk about strange. It's like the whole universe has decided to give us an eclipse overload this century. I mean, is this even possible? Crazy times, but the entire world seems to be loving it. <laughs> and who would believe how much excitement this event has stirred up so far? I know for a fact that I, for one, will be right there, sun goggly thingies on, and staring straight up at that. I think this sounds like an incredibly American news show in an incredibly British environment. It's a great disconnect to me watching this. <laughs> I might even join you at some point there. You know, I was going to say something so dumb just then. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Why did you have to go? His wife looks more like the daughter than the daughter does. But the daughter looks like the one that he just said the night to. Or the wife, I should say, was the uh, one that he said the night to. I miss you. We all miss you very much. Anyways, back over to Sally now for coincidentally the weather. Sally, over to you. We're having fun there, my darling husband. You must be shattered there with all that sitting down. Oh, I am truly exhausted, oh beautiful wife of mine. But I have to rest because I have to prepare this beautifully chiselled temple of mine. Of course, in preparation for our lovely meal tonight, our anniversary meal, which I am sure will be both lovely and fairly priced. Seriously, I have no idea how I put it with you. Well, I know why. It's because I'm treating you to KFC tonight. Oh, it's a good job I love you, Dean Hamilton. A very good job. And I'm blessed that you love me. Because I love you too. I wouldn't change you one bit for the entire world, Mrs. Sarah Hamilton. Wow, what a pig. He's making her do all the hard work with the reward of KFC. He's taking it to Adams or somewhere like that. For my uh, one year anniversary, I'm going to take my missus to McDonald's for a McBurger for a Mc anniversary. <gasps> that is me every time Amazon come at like nine o'clock in the morning. Those tins of chocolates in the window, then. Kids, come on, school. I'll make you breakfast, okay? Right. 
Wow, those sort of glass bowls are like something your nan would have. Hey! Come on. We'll just sit there, go and check on them. <laughs> what are they doing? It's even worth sitting down for like those two seconds. Where we go? We can actually decide where we go. This is a bit more like contradiction. I never actually played that, but I watched uh, Gold Rose Mage play it. It's a very good play, so you should definitely check it out. Yeah, I feel this uh, because we checked on the boy to say goodnight first. But that's the natural order of things. Andy! I'm sure you wouldn't get you wouldn't just pick one when you go Andy Ruby Ruby When you see the interact icon below, that means you can interact with something within the scene. Click on this to activate it. So I can either go to a different room or I can interact with these keys. I wonder what those keys are for. You pick up items throughout your adventure. Adventure! Wow. It's prepping it quite nicely to be a, some epic game. They will show up here in your inventory. You can look at these items and sometimes use them by clicking on them. Um, I mean, why wouldn't you go upstairs to check on them at this point? What's with the sneakiness? I'll just be running up there. <laughs> I don't understand the, this guy. I don't understand this guy to do. Makes all makes his wife do all the the heavy work while he sits there doing fuck all. And it's like the kids have got to get up, but I'll sneak up the stairs so I don't wake him up. He's gone. There's a little bit of um, the bunker to it. That's another game Gordra has made played. Very, very, very good FMV game. Ruby? Where the hell could they possibly be? They clearly haven't left early for school because all of their school stuff is still here. I wish I hadn't drunk as good much detective as I work. Night. But what have I done? I need to find them. Well, if I can interact with a little sleepy time masks there. Where's Cuddles? My house keys. Okay, so they're just the house keys. I always look at a set of keys like that and think, what are all the keys for? <laughs> Front door, back door. And then there's like at least another, it almost looks like six keys on there. Oh, neither of them are there. I mean, the first thing you do is look in each room. I think they got one of those uh, Dolce Gusto machines there. The uh, spray oil. And they keep their tin tomatoes on the counter. 
he does not strike me as someone who uh, <laughs> involves himself with the cooking all that much. <laughs> right, they're in the back garden. He didn't have to unlock it. And again, there's nothing I can interact with here. Well, the last thing we can do is leave the house. I better take my phone, just in case they somehow try to call me. Well, where is your phone? Not in the oh, there it is. It is in the living room. Well, the inter I wonder if the interact token will always be down there. Actually, I'm not leaving the house just yet. Not without some kind of clue as to where they might have gone. Uh, can I check my phone? Oh. <laughs> I mean, we can call call someone, perhaps. Look at these videos. Oh, what's that on you? Let's have a look. What's that on you? Oh my God, Dean! <laughs> will you stop filming everything? <laughs> so Sarah's the wife, the ex-wife. There she is, look. Is what she looks like first thing. Oh, dear. First dang. thing on the morning. No. Oh, this looks Look beautiful first thing in the morning. <laughs> so, what are your plans today, sweetheart? Being lazy is that? Sweetheart. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan. I think so too. Where are the kids? They're in the den. Again? Yeah. I <laughs> love that place. Well, it's nice and peaceful here, so. No, so you're not complaining? Well, apart from you. <laughs> I might go join them in the den. What if Ruby and Andy have gone to play in their den before school? They seem to love that place. Where is their den? Is it on premises? Do I have to go off the premises? Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Ah, that looks like Bigfoot. That looks got Bigfoot. Why did he call me Bigfoot? Oh, I just like the way it sounds. Uh, well, you know what they say about men with big feet. Uh, not in front of the children. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Merry Christmas, guys. Told. Merry Christmas. Love you all. We love you too. Told. Who puts angels' wings like that on the Christmas tree? I've never seen that before. Ah, uh, she's here. Is Ruby look with her mismatching pajamas as usual? Dad. Yeah. She loves Dad. Oh, charming. <laughs> Mum. Mm -hmm. Can we play with some toys tomorrow? Well, I've got to go and do some gardening tomorrow. I can She looked incredibly despondent there. Now, a point I was going to make. Nothing's actually said that she's dead. I mean, she looked very depressed in that last video. Did she move on? Did she die? I don't know. Right. I'm not interested in Julian, sorry. You look like, um, Wish.com, Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, again, I don't know where this, uh, den is. Is it in the back garden? I mean, when you think of den, you think of like some of the made out of like bushings and that, don't you? But I've got the assumption this is going to be uh, somewhere like in a local park or somewhere. I really hope that's a leaf branch. 
Uh, can we leave? Oh, that's accidentally clicked off the uh, <laughs> game there. Let's try again to leave her. I, I guess I've got to do this then. Totally out of carrots for Andy and Ruby to have gone to play in their den before school. But I'm getting concerned, and having a quick look around seems like my only option at the moment. I feel sick. Well, I'm gonna give them a right telling enough if they've been to the den. Go home while I'm out. But then again, what if they are playing in their den? What should I do? Well, I don't know where the den is though, do I? <laughs> well, is it down at Farm Lane? Is it at the church? I'm random sitting there. Hi. Have <coughs> uh, any change, could you mate? Yeah, sure. I'm going to ask him a question. <laughs> At least we could do is give him like a couple of quid. <coughs> You're a star, bud. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Do you happen to have seen two children around here? No. <coughs> No, sorry, mate. I haven't seen him. Okay. You take care now. Bye bye. Have a good day, my friend. It'd be horrible to be like, no, I'm not giving you any money. Where's my kids? Wait, is the den at the church? Let's find out. Uh, let's start off up the steps. Like, I'll cover the outdoor area first if it was me. Right, well, the den isn't in the graveyard. I would be a bit, oh, I think we'd have bigger problems on our hands. <laughs> they decided to chill at the graveyard. They really love the graveyard. Oh, I see. Right, well, the forerunner, the front runner of the way that our children, who are very, very British, could have gone. Is the uh, the pub? They're not there. What they're selling? Uncooked food served daily, Sunday lunch. Hmm. Well, 
Well, out of all these places, to be honest, a den. I'm making the right choice here. It sounds like it's going to be in the woods, doesn't it? Dog. I am really sorry, but have you seen two children? Have you seen two yeah, children? No, sorry, sorry, I don't know. Oh! That is such a British response. I mean, I'm sorry, but if you saw someone distressed, like, have you seen children, two children? Surely you should go, like, uh, no, tell me what happened. Maybe there's something I can do. Where she's like, I lost two children. Oh, that sucks. Come on, dog. I don't know what I'm expecting here. It'd make no sense whatsoever for them to walk this far from home before school. My heart's pounding that much. It hurts. Let's keep going. Oh, scary music. Den. Please, please be in here. What do we think, guys? Think they're going to be in here? Ruby! Andy! Entire place there, then. Oh, is that cuddles? Cuddles. What the hell? Andy. Ruby. Who's there? Ruby! Andy! Who are you? What do you know? Please, but please come down. Let me explain. Where are they? I'm, I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry. What do you know? Where are my kids? Please, uh, please come down. Let, let me explain. Where I'm sorry. are my kids? I, I, I don't know. Where are they? Where are you going? What do you know? <laughs> what do you know? Ah. Oh dear. Oh, here they are. They were safe the whole time. Teddy. And your two children, 
people's names. Ruby and Andrew Hamilton. Ruby's 10 and and Andy Andrew is 13. I just the last time I saw them was when I tucked them into bed last night and I haven't seen them since. Please help me. I understand, please. Calm down. I don't know what to do. I need help. Please remain calm, Mr. Hamilton. At what time did you realize they weren't at home? Uh, around uh, seven o'clock uh, this morning, or thereabouts. And what were you doing last night? <sighs> Tell the truth. I was drinking and watching TV. Thank you, Mr. Hamilton. I've just requested an officer visit your address. Please try to remain calm. They're on their way now. Yeah. Okay. Please hurry. Thank you. That sounded like our old friend Rupert Booth. And in the intro, he voiced a very evil sounding character, so that's a bit of a concern to me. But we'll see. Maybe it wasn't him. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't lie. I, you know, just don't, don't get lying, especially to the police. Oh, nothing. Can I use the the Teddy in Cuddles? Who is Teddy? Her friend. Why was it out there, Den? So we know she had it last night, and it's appeared at the Den. So it seems possible they went to the Den. I mean, did they get up and leave in the middle of the night? Did they get up and leave early in the morning? A lot of questions. I feel as though I should just at least have a look around the house just to see if there's anything new. But sure isn't. Maybe we check our phone. Who's this Julian fella? Julian? Yeah, it's Dean. Uh, I, I, I don't know where my kids are. I've, uh, I've, I woke up this morning and they're not there. Alright, mate, calm down, calm down. Have you called the police? Yeah, yeah, I've just, uh, I've just got off the phone to them now. They're on the way. Right, right, look, I'm at work in a minute, mate, look, I'll be around as soon as I can. Okay, alright, thank you, I'm sorry, okay, thank you. Okay, so we've got Julian coming as well. Is this Julian? That's very evil sounding music. Mr. Hamilton? There he is. I'm Detective Blackwell. May I come in? See, look at that. Oh, he, he, he just... Relishes his character. Mr. Hamilton, I understand this must be very difficult for you, but there's a few questions I need to ask in regard to your two missing children. I understand. Yeah, I just want them back home. Please, ask away. Ruby and Andrew. Ruby is 10 years old and Andrew is 13. Is that correct? That is, yeah. And the last time you saw them was when you put them to bed last night? That's right, yeah, around 7 o'clock. And you haven't seen them since? You didn't hear anything throughout the night or this morning? Nothing. No. And where did you sleep? In your bedroom? Downstairs? It was on the sofa, wasn't it? Was it? I slept on the sofa. What was it in the bed? Oh, I don't remember now. <laughs> Yeah, I do. I'm sorry. I know these questions can be trying. Is there a Mrs. Hamilton, Dean? There was. Not anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. Did your kids have anywhere they like to go and play? Uh, the park, for example? 
Yes, yes, they have a den. It's just down the left. The weird thing is I went there this morning and I found this. This is my daughter's teddy. She, uh, this is the thing. The weird thing is she had that with her when I tucked her into bed last night. <sighs> so this was found in the kid's den this morning? Yeah, it was. I am so worried. This is so unlike them, especially Ruby. How's your relationship with your children? They're my children. I love them to bits. They're my world. Any recent arguments? None. No. Well, nothing that parents and the children don't usually argue about. So you argue with them? Why do I feel like you're putting words in my mouth, detective? What I mean about arguments is things like, oh, you know, you haven't eaten any vegetables, or, it, or it's time to go to bed. That's what I mean by arguments and disagreements. Detective, what exactly are you writing down? Notes, Mr. Hamilton, just notes. Please calm down. Right. So what exactly happens now? Do you send out a search party? No, no, nothing happens yet. We'll make a few general lines of inquiry, but won't start a search for at least 24 hours. And what happens in the meantime? You sit and wait, Mr. Hamilton. And that's it? I sit and wait? Please, I understand this is a very emotionally charged time for you. This procedure's in place for these kind of cases. Rest assured, Dean, I'll personally do everything I can to find your children. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just want them back home. I don't know how to feel. Here you are, Dean. Something to remember, Ruby Bye. I know it's easier said than done, but please, try to remain positive. So what do I do if I need to contact you? Don't you worry about anything like that, Mr. Hamilton. I'm always watching. Very trustworthy. Oh, did we have a bit more to drink? Did we? We passed out. Is that why we're not answering the door? open so yeah we did sleep on the sofa didn't we because that's what we looked at you can't keep doing this shit to yourself Dean I mean you're not thinking straight I mean you left the back door open for God's sake what did the police say nothing they're doing absolutely nothing they can't do anything for 24 hours. That's when it becomes a missing persons case, Julian. A missing persons case? <laughs> These are my kids. But I don't know what to do. What you do is, mate, you stay strong. Why is his face so red, but around his eyes so pale? You need to cut this crap out. This isn't helping. I'm just, I'm not expecting them to walk in at any moment, and everything's gonna be okay. You know? I know, mate. I know. I, I, I've looked everywhere. I just don't. I don't know where else to look. I don't know what to do. Let me look again. Dean, come on, let's go. Julian's right. I look again. I am not going to sit around, no matter what that Detective Blackwell said. Perhaps I can find some clues to Ruby and Andy's whereabouts. Yeah, it's what you do. I don't feel as though we looked very hard in their bedrooms. Um, Ruby's Teddy. Her friend. 
Why was it out there dead? Personally, I'd quite like to examine the cuddly toy a bit more, but it seems as though we can. Hello? Bexley. Julian's girlfriend, from Bexley. Yes, Bexley. I'm sorry, Bexley. I'm uh, not quite with it at the moment. Listen, I'm just calling to speak with the reason that Ruby and Andy Hunter's school today. I've just called the register and they're not here. Yeah, I... Um... Don't tell the truth. Yeah, look, Bexley, truth be told. Uh... Why would you lie in a situation, a situation like this? You need yeah, all I'm the help you can get. And my children aren't here and I don't know where they are. I was hoping that they would have come to school, but obviously that's not the case. No, they're not here. Dean, is everything all right at home? Yeah. Uh, listen, I've got to go. Thanks for calling, Bexley. Bye-bye. Hmm. Right, can we look in their bedrooms again for evidence? Here we go. anymore get a tablet it's turned straight on <laughs> i'd get a laptop if i had to use it for like work if i was uh a lot more into editing than that So we're going to need to find a password. Um, I mean, can we look around Andy's room a bit more for a clue? No. How about rubies? Ruby Soho's. Sleepy time mask. Maybe the passwords were in it inside the sleepy time mask. Oh. See, I had the uh, boyhood equivalent of a book like that. It's just notes for games, <laughs> like the move sets of what uh, all my Pokemon were going to have by the time I challenged the Elite Four. I cried again today because Mummy's still not. I hope she does come home soon though. I miss her lots and lots. This is my favourite photo of her. I do not like school anymore because Harry says he fancies Sarah more than me. She was my friend. Me and Daddy went to the park. I met a boy and a girl and we played on the swing. But that was it because we had to go home and get some dinner. Daddy keeps crying. He says it's because his heart hurts. I really wish I could hold myself together in front of my kids. I overheard Uncle Julian telling Daddy that he has met a new lady called Bexley or something. Uncle Julian seems happy. Daddy keeps crying. I think he misses Mummy as much as I do. And Andy. I do, Ruby. I do. Mummy bought me a dream catcher, and Daddy says it will keep away the bad dreams. I hope he's right. Maybe the dream catcher takes a bit of time before it starts to work, because I still keep seeing the nasty man at the bottom of my bed. 
Daddy says it's just my imagination. I have a feeling that something bad is going to happen. I am scared. Ruby mentions the dream catcher. It really didn't seem to stop her nightmares. Hmm. I cried again today because mummy's still not up. I don't feel there's anything useful there. I'm not looking for emotions, I'm looking for evidence. I can figure out what's going on. Ah, still nothing. One more time. No. I There's cried again definitely today, nothing in here. Still not home. I hope she did. Mummy bought me a dream catcher, and Daddy says it. Maybe we can call Bexley. Maybe she can. Look in their desk or something. Look in their desk. That sounds so American. <laughs> no answer. Look in their exercise books. They're called Julian, even though he's right here. No answer. Got it. I don't feel as though there's any clues in the videos, was there? Was there the option to, um... No. I was waiting to see if we could, like, look at videos with Julian, for instance. No answer. I don't imagine there's going to be anything, but... We need to look. We need to check all the possibilities. I mean, my first thought is to go back to the den. The Penel Woods. Indian Ruby's laptop I bought for them after Sarah left. I left it in the house. Okay. Uh. Ruby's Teddy, her friend. Why was it at their den? So nothing there. Do we really need to see him go through the gate each time? I assume it's to cover up the game loading or something, but... Our new friend's not there. The uh, sign saying the crown on the side of the building is just too, too uh, well done, isn't it? <laughs> like it doesn't really match the uh, quality of the building, so you can tell it's superimposed. Anything at the church? 
But I did try pissing space, but I really just still cut through these little cutscenes. So I'm missing something. I have one idea, but I don't know the logic behind it. Really, the password's gonna be Dreamcatcher. Ah, oh, so weak. <laughs> so weak. Right, um, untitled2.jpg. Weird picture to just have on there, isn't it? System settings. Basically, I think internet browser is probably the way forward, but that's why I'm going through all the other things first. Oh, let's play some games and Sims. Ah, uh, <laughs> ah, yeah. Let's play Contradiction. Spot the liar. Great game. I uh, wasn't being sarcastic. <laughs> But it actually is a great game and it's real. That's the uh, game Mr. Booth was in. Oh. Oh. Search allies. I cried again today because mummy, but I cried again. I mean cuddles who be teddy i don't need to call my housekeeper and the in room i'm not sure what else we can do here i mean you feel as though this picture is significant why would they just have this picture i mean you'd think there's something to do with this tattoo So later on, I'm expecting to see like a mystery arm, and the arm's going to have that tattoo on it. And it's like, oh, if you paid attention, you'd know that's Julian. I haven't missed a thing there. I can click on, have I? What can't I? Well, this is a long shot. I don't know if it's this kind of game though. No, I just pressed Control and H just to see if I could bring up their history. <laughs> yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything. Oh, what a waste of time that was. Go to Andy's severed finger. Hello? I don't recall learning the location of our first meeting with any character so far. So I don't know what to think about that. I 
Let's um, try the graveyard. No. The pub. No one at the pub. Wait. What if it's the uh, the homeless person? Ah, oh, what was onto something then? Let's try the woods. Did we meet someone at the woods for the first time? Here we go. He came then. The dog walker. Oh, uh, of course. Follow me. It's scary that she knows where we live. I want to deceive the moon. special. I just know a lot more than most people because I opened my eyes. You must have a name. <clears throat> Alex. With a Y. Oh, okay. Alex with a Y? What do you know? Where are my kids? Dean. De How the hell do you know my name? Dean, there's something you need to know. Please, look at this. Alex, where are my kids? What do you know? Please, let me explain. See this? Take a good look at this monitor. Look, look! What is this? This, Dean, is a snapshot taken from a satellite the night your kids were taken. Alex, what is this shit? Please tell me what you know. I do not understand this. Please. I wish my wife was here. Dean. Sake, Dean, please, I'm please, please. Dean, please, please, calm down. I didn't take your children. I can assure you of that. And I know you wish your wife was here. But I'm here to help you. What I'm showing you will seem crazy, random, unconnected even. I understand what you must be thinking, but please, Dean, I'm begging you, please. Let me show you something, because I'm sure I know what's happened to them. But please, I want you to understand that I'm here to help Is you. Is she trying to be the doctor from Doctor Who? Look, just a lot of waffle. <laughs> Why should I trust you? Because I'm the only person you can trust. what you've got. Okay. Right. Look again. I know, I know, it looks like a blur of random colours, but this, this was taken from a satellite I hacked into. Oh, hacked? What the hell do you mean, hacked? What do you do? What is this shit? This is what I do. Do you trust your government? Do you really believe that everything you've ever been told is the truth? Do you not think that there just might be more out there than we're let on? Everything we know about our country, our planet, our universe is because of what we've been told, be it through media or books or whatever. No, no, we just nod and accept it like sheep. Meh. I don't. What the hell are you getting at here, Alex? As I was saying, as I was saying, 
It looks like a random mess of colors, but there's more to it than there appears. What these are, Dean, are actual readings. Electromagnetic readings with trace readings of radiation. You have lost me already. It's really quite simple. Mm. It does seem it. It really does seem really. Every year, there are literally thousands of supposed abductions with witness accounts. Oh, ab ab abductions. Witness accounts. I'm talking about aliens. Little green men. They're not always green. It sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? Believe me, I know exactly yeah, how it, this it, sounds. Yeah, it, it sounds pathetic, is what it sounds. Dean, sounds like take a look at the satellite readings from all the recent well-known alien abduction locations. The evidence speaks for itself, don't you think? Open your mind! Oh, God. Are you okay? How do I even do this? Uh, this is going to sound crazy. The, the night before my children vanished, I, um... Good God, this is... It sounds stupid. I um, I saw something. What did you see? It sounds crazy. It sounds ridiculous. It was a light in the sky. A uh, a, a pulsating glow. It, it, it pulsated the once and then was it was gone. I really didn't think anything of it. The signs are all there. What's happening soon? Soon. What solo event is happening soon? Right. I don't see the connection. Most abductions take place just before a significant solar event. In this case, the total eclipse. Why? If this is true, then why? Why are these things doing it? You're not going to like what I've got to say next. Alex, I can't possibly get any more down than I am right now. There is no God. Not as we know it. Not as we've been told. How do you possibly know any of this? Do you believe in God? Honestly. No. Okay. That's ultimately your choice. But no, there isn't one. It's certainly not some single being that created us all. But of course that leads to the question then, how did we all get here? Right? They made us. Is this is bullshit. Is it, Dean? Just look at the Egyptians. We were always told that they worshipped the sun, right? Wrong. They worship them. Just take a close look at their hieroglyphs. It's all there. Little objects, discs, little men. It's all hidden in plain sight that it's laughable that we've been programmed by the regime to block out the obvious. The truth would ultimately be our destroyer. Uh, let's go along with it. Let's face it, it's only because it's in the context of the game. If this was real life. Except to this, so easily. Most people would be calling me magic crazy. Huh? But, um, <clears throat> well done, Dean. Well done for opening your eyes. That takes a lot. Okay. So now what? Why have they taken my kids? Because their species is dying. They created us from them. But as... The generations have passed since the start of life on Earth. Some genetics have faded. Uh, why, I'm not sure. A uh, sort of evolution that they didn't anticipate, I presume. They need the remaining few who still unwittingly contain strong strands of that DNA to extract and then recreate themselves. To reclone themselves. Reclone? And my kids have this DNA? Then why didn't they take me? Because surely if they have it, I have it too. I can't answer that one, Dean. I'm sorry. Uh, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. If they created us to start with, then why can't they just recreate themselves? 
they can but only when the solar eclipse is actually happening because this is when the conditions of the dna extraction are at their prime solar flares and alignment they can only extract the dna when the conditions are right and what about my kids what happens to them after the extraction the majority of abductions made for the purposes of dna extractions are adult abductees they return shortly after sometimes months or after years what about children alex it's both alex what about children what about my kids it's the same right they're returned they'll be returned I'm so sorry. The detective is one of them. Right, I'm gonna pause for a short little break. Um but we will resume shortly. Uh oh. Perhaps we should head home. Oh, we can go straight to Alex's house, Alex of a boy's house. Do we have a, as a contact? This is a... Uh, particular women down here looking a little bit scary. See if we can get a hold of Alex. No answer. No, nope, nobody likes talking to us. Who no tried Julia? I thought he was with us. No answer. No, nope, Julian does not care. Doesn't give a crap. All right, let's go home. Again, I don't know what we gained going into the laptop. Well, here we go. Alex? What? 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 The news? Why? Alright, okay, okay, okay. Right now. Right. Welcome back to day two of our Eclipse Countdown. Where the sleepy village has been shocked discovered that the local vicar, Reverend English, has been having an affair with the local verger. Whereas anywhere else, this story would be vergering on the ridiculous. Here in Mary Wine, it's... They won't tell you about the lights in the sky. Look up. Open your eyes. Excuse me. Don't try and interrupt me, you male Main Street patriarch. Well, I've been called far worse. You're part of the cover-up. Um, you! So this is Alex with no surname. I don't identify with male property or progeny. Something is coming to this village, something evil, and people have to listen to the truth! Well, this will be all over social media by now, so you've made This point. isn't for publicity! I'm just a voice shouting the truth! No, oh, just shouting. And for now, back to Clementine in the studio. I bet you're a pervert. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> That's cheated my finals. Don't forget that your kids are still missing. I mean at the end of the day, like she's spouting off a lot of interesting theory. But your kids are still missing. We need to look out for them. So this is give, probably giving the church some level of importance now. We can go to the church. It looks like he's holding the camera there in his hand.
my game, do as you're told, go to the Chamber of Bones, do not call the police. I know we mentioned not lying or anything. I think this is one of those things where we've got to follow it ourselves. Chicken again in the background. And thank you, Clementine. Well, strange weather conditions have hit Merrywine today on the day of the eclipse. Mm -hmm. I can tell you, even though I'm a soft southerner, it is very chilly here today. This is, of course, fueling government conspiracy theorists that the eclipse is part of a great cover-up. But covering up what? Well, if aliens do make an appearance today, I will be the first to take them for a pint in the local. Back to the studio. You never actually see this studio. And also, that was uh, a very eerie sight, wasn't it? A Royal Mail van in the background, actually, like, on the move. <laughs> nah, I have nothing against Royal Mail, to be honest. But I, I sold a lot of stuff on eBay years ago. I just sold collectibles. I probably had, like, out of the hundreds, I probably had, like, about 2% 2, 2 go missing. I bet at least some of them were like just claims that it didn't arrive kind of thing. But I'm pretty sure I said to one, go and check your neighbour's house, see if it's there and they come back. And said, actually it was. <laughs> um, I mean, I just want to go straight to the Chamber of Bones. Sounds like some out of vampire survivors or something. <clears throat> so one would assume it's that area at the back the uh, church around here. I'd be watching my back the entire time, reaching to grab this letter. Go to the red box. Post box. Don't recall seeing a post box. The thing is, I don't trust the police officer. Just because in the intro, there's a thing. Number one, in the intro, he talked about being able to destroy the universe with a click of his finger. He came across as like a very, you know, like a more evil opposite to the voice that was all about good. And then secondly, the classic Western thing, you see it a lot in wrestling, the bad guy dressing in black, his name was Blackwell. You know, watching the old Western, they sort of defined the, the sort of the characteristics of the good versus evil. The evil wore black, it was often unshaved. The good guy clean shaven, that's why wrestling good guys are called baby faces. Often wears white, lighter colours. Right, I'm not sure where the red box is. Not there. That's my guess. The pub. Is that always there?
Who is this? Just tell me where they are! Just go to the field. Fuck. Oh dear. I assume it's via the woods, but it might not be. No, I think it might have been where we saw the homeless person. Ah, I want to go back to the village. Try this way. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hello? Are you... Are you okay? Oh, shit. That's what I'm going to find out. Did you know the deceased? No. That, that is, I've, I've seen him around. So you knew of him? Everyone round here does. He's a local homeless madman. Stay calm. Ever had any run-ins with him? What do I mean by running? Only... He came to the door once. He was asking, asking for money. He was asking everyone. Aggression isn't going to get you anywhere, Mr. Hamilton. I'm sorry, yeah. I am this close to breaking. It won't take much longer. So you think the deceased was the man sending you the notes? I don't know anymore. But you did think that, right? The notes led me to him. Who else can it be? Who? How about a man who had unfettered access to the children, someone who no one would suspect? A teacher, maybe? What? Or a father? You can't think! Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. You mentioned yourself that you argue. Perhaps it might seem like an obvious solution to just get rid. Be open and honest. We're not exactly in a uh, you know, sometimes strong position. I guess it seems it would have been easier if I didn't have children. Hmm. An honest answer from you. I suppose. Detective, I have not done anything wrong. I'm just going to cut to the chase. Dean Hamilton, did you have anything to do with the disappearance of Ruby and Andrew Hamilton? No, did I fuck? And I am pissed off that you are even accusing me of this. You have no idea how I'm using every ounce of my strength right now to keep from doing something I'll regret. I'll be back, Mr. Hamilton. Was he pissed off? Yeah. All right, Arnie. That's, that's what I don't get. Why is he pissed off? The letter that Alex posted through my door. She could have just knocked instead. Bless. Did we see a note with the homeless person? I don't think we did. Some sick bastard is screwing around with me. I mean, my first choice to go back to the scene of the crime. Why haven't they cordoned it off? What's going on? Right, I think we should go to Alex's house. Nice little quaint house.
Hey, Dean. Right, ask her about it. Who's laptop I bought for them after Sarah left? I left it in the house. Alex sent the letter. The demand reads The letter say One of Ruby's headband. I cried again today because Mummy bought me a I cried again. Cuddles. Don't worry, Dean. We'll bring your children home. Can I give out Alex a call right here? Are you phoning me? We're in the same <laughs> bloody room. <laughs> no answer. I keep wanting to click on the actual phone. Make the call. No answer. Hmm. We can't see the videos again, which is weird. Hmm. Not really sure why you're showing me that. Doesn't seem like I, I can show her much. Steps, maybe this is where we'll find the homeless person. Anyone else, uh, like not stop staring at the van here? That's just going backwards and forwards as the uh, <laughs> footage is played on a one second loop. <laughs> I was looking at it earlier, but I thought I'll give it like a little bit more time. Have a look around the house again. We don't know something may have happened. I mean, in terms of new items, we've got the headband. I'm not sure exactly what we can do with that. Unless we have to go and reminisce in Ruby's room. One of Ruby's. No. We'll have another look in the laptop in just a sec. Let's go to Andy's room. I mean, this photo also makes me think that Julian's the one who uh, has orchestrated all this. Let's just try making phone calls again, but this time from here. Hey Dean, how are you holding up? I'm not. I've just been on a random goose chase which has left me feeling baffled. I wanted to tell you but just didn't risk it. On top of that, I have the police on my case too. 
a Detective Blackwell. Hmm. What? I've had a few run-ins with the Merrywine law enforcement myself, but never came across a Detective Blackwell. Hmm. May I run a few... tests? Ah, oh, tests. You're back to your hacking again, aren't you? Something doesn't seem right. You have to be careful with who you trust. I'm going to ask you a question, Dean. Who do you trust? Detective Blackwell? Or me? Well, I trust you, you, Alex. You should know that by now. Ah, oh, excellent. You made the right choice. I knew you would. Right, I'll message you if and when I find anything out. Okay, yeah. Just... And she's gone. Brilliant. Reminds me a little bit of uh, Life on Mars, BBC drama from several years back. Brilliant, brilliant TV show. Definitely watch it. Um, let's try Julian again. Can I just press space? No. No answer. Let's just give Bexley one more call. Bexley. No answer. Um, I mean, she says she's going to call us, right? <clears throat> Let's just go straight there. Hey, Dean. Uh, maybe not. Um, I was just there when I. Oh. Gotta find a way to sort of waste a little bit of time whilst we wait for Alex to do her thing. Um, just have another look around. This is one of those parts of the game where I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> right, let's go home. Let's just phone Alex again to see if she's done her tests. No answer. Ah, here we go. Let's see what they've been searching for. Unicorn toys, football league table, our mermaids reel, flying discs. 
Why do they fall up? Where is my mummy? The little men at the bottom of my bed. Help me find mummy. Please, please. How to make them go away? Spaceships need Mary Wine. Is Santa real? Xbox games. Lights in the sky. How to make nightmares stop? Does mummy miss me? Hmm. Displays the same scene again. Uh, I look at other stuff. Assume when we're looking at their internet browser, we can't click on any of the actual options. Unicorn toys, football league table, are mermaids real? Flying dim no. Let's give Alex another ring, just to see. And she's my main lead right now, isn't she? So I need no to answer. keep up with what she's been saying. No answer. Bexy and Julian will be like, oh my god, it's calling so many times. Julian, it's me again. Is there any chance she can pop over, please? I need someone to talk to. And he thinks you're responsible for this. He thinks something. I know that. I think he's made his mind up about me already, to be honest. And it's not a nice feeling. The question is, who the hell's doing this? Who's having you running around on a goose chase? Hmm. That's the biggest question of all right now. This Alex, you know, friends with. Can you trust her? Yeah, I'm sure of it. She's. She's special. Well, regardless, you know you can trust me, right? Well, let's say yes, but the real answer is not sure. I know that. <laughs> I'll never forget that first time we met. <laughs> Remember? Yeah. The hospital. We'd just taken Sarah in uh, to give birth to Ruby. You were the porter there. You make an excellent porter. <laughs> oh yeah, it was a uniform. It said, here's a man you can trust. <laughs> Julian, where do I go from here? You keep doing what you're doing. Mate, you've got this. Have I? Feels like I'm losing grip. Well, you're not. Okay? Come in, mate. Listen, I need to get off. You become oh, friends with the hospital porter. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Bex will be wondering where I am. So I'll be doing the tea today. You. Cooking. Hey! Don't start. I know I'm like a mean Chinese. I'm out then. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. See you later, right, buddy. Hopefully I can squeeze this in before anything important happens. When Dean first said about making tea, 
he meant the drink. When Julian mentioned making tea, he meant food, as in dinner. It's come out in the rain without a hat, by the way. You got a cat? You know, the Egyptians used to worship those creatures. Cats! Unbelievable. I just thought I'd pop by to see how you are, Mr. Hamilton. During my little goose chase of the notes, I found this. It's rubies. Why are you only just informing me of this now? I've completely forgotten, Detective. My head has been a total shed for the past day or two since this, since you began accusing me of this whole thing. <laughs> well, regardless, you do know that keeping evidence can be seen as obstruction of justice, Mr. Hamilton. You do know that, right? That is not the case at all, and you know it's not. Do I? I might take some persuading. There's an awful lot of evidence stacking up against you right now, Mr. Hamilton. For example, you. Oh, wow. Are you even listening to me, Mr. Hamilton? You can see where I'm going with this, right? I don't think we should, uh... For the 100th time, I am not guilty of this! Surely the headband means something! Never play your cards too early. What are you doing? Sorry? Let's not play silly buggers here, Mr. Hamilton. We both know that your little friend Alex has just sent you some uh, How? rather revealing imagery, shall we say? I don't. Oh, as you do. I was beginning to really admire your confidence, respecting the way that you were playing along, but now you're being deceitful. You're trying to trick me. Bring them back home to me. There it is! Too late now, though. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, does that count as a death? We're we replaying the scene again. We are. Okay, you know what I said about never re revealing your cards too the early. Cat. You know, the Egyptians used to worship those creatures. Cats! Unbelievable. I just thought I'd pop by to see how you are, Mr. Hamilton. During my little goose chase of the notes, I found this. It's rubies. Why are you only just informing me of this now? I've completely forgotten, Detective. My head has been a total shed for the past day or two since this since you began accusing me of this whole thing <laughs> well regardless you do know that keeping evidence can be seen as obstruction of justice mr hamilton you do know that right that is not the case at all and you know it's not do i i'm gonna have to confront him take some persuading there's an awful lot of evidence Get here, up against you right now mr hamilton for example Listening to me, Mr. Hamilton. You can see where I'm going with this, right? I know who you are. I'm sorry. Gideon. Ah, Dean. <laughs> Say this for you. You're the first of your kind that I've come across who has the guts to be so. Uh... Somewhere at the uh, back of my mind, actually. Why? Why are you doing this? Fun! Because it's fucking.
fucking fun, that's why. Simple as. <laughs> it's to watch you breaking more and more as time passes, wondering what's happened to the oldest child. Bring them back home to me. Wrong answer! <laughs> Can you imagine, though, if I did? Oh, here are you, kids, Steve. I'll just be on my way now. Game. Have you not figured that out yet? From the little goose chase that I led you on to the way I'm mentally dissecting you. What's a game? My game. You will continue to play it. What do you want from me? Oh, I want you to suffer more before I finish playing. So you have some time on your side at least. Call the police if you want. That's if I even let you get through to them this time. See if Anyhow! I think I'll be on my way now. Doodaloo! Oh, look, you must be Alex with a. What was it? A W? Oh, my. Oh, you're so cute, aren't you? <laughs> Leave her alone. Shut up! Lucky I let you live. Oh, by the way. I know all about the photos that you just sent to Dean. I know everything. I am everything! Okay. Alex, what the hell is going on? Do you have a cap? Yes. Why? Oh, I don't like the viscosity of this. I'm allergic to cats, and if I'm near them, I go all bulbous. And we don't want you going all bulbous now, do we? Oh, we do not. How can I help you if I'm bulbous? Think! Right, well, now you're comfortable, please tell me what you know. What is the deal with this photo? Good question. If I'm honest, I'm not even sure myself. I've never come across anything like that in all my years of- Hacking? You're not gonna let that drop, are you? It's not hacking. I prefer the term knowledge siphoning. Yeah, and I prefer not to have the men in black kicking in my front door. Alex, please tell me what you know. Who is this Gideon? Who is he? He can't be a... He's not a time traveller. I don't think so. He's not human. So, alien? Exactly. See, I told you they weren't all green. Hmm. He seems to have a lifespan that lasts for centuries. He might even be older than the human race. Perhaps even the planet. Jesus Christ. Possibly. Who knows? What do the government know about this? Why are they keeping this a secret? What do they intend to do? What they intend to do is keep it or him away from public knowledge. If they know that the public knows about the existence of Gideon, then their powers become nothing. Their rulings and orders become the equivalent of using a sausage as a hammer. A sausage as a hammer? Uh, you know what I mean. I meant that it, it, it's it's not obvious. You know, stop it! I know exactly what you meant. You're talking about using a sausage as a hammer. Would you like a cup of tea, actually? I'm using hot water as a base. Water? See, that's the one. Do you know that they could literally poison us all by putting a neurotoxin in the water main? Fascinating. What tea bags are you using? These ones. <laughs> See, you know nothing. Do you know that they release millions and millions of plastics? Each tea bag contains 11.6 billion microplastics and 3.1 billion nanoplastics. And that's into each cup. Each cup! For God's sake, do you want a cup of tea or not? Oh, Alex, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That wasn't me. I'm sorry. I'm... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Eleven point six billion microplastics and three point one billion nanoplastics. That's a lot, isn't it? And eventually, it keeps building up until there's a coat hanger's worth in your bloodstream. Do you know what, Alex? You are enough to have a man to smoking. Probably less bad for you than tea.
Where do we go from here? That's our problem, Dean. I don't know. This Gedeon, the power he has. There are two of us. Two people, two mortals. Against a god. God. But you've just said it yourself. There are two of us. One of him. You know what? A few days ago, I had nobody on my side. Nobody. And now, here you are, helping. This means a lot. So, where's he from? Where is he? At this moment, I don't know. Although that's a lie, really. I do have my suspicions. I'm listening. As I'm convinced that he's not from our world, then the only logical conclusion is that he's from somewhere out there. He's the one I took my children, isn't he? I'm convinced he is, yes. Why the fuck is he prancing around like PC Plod? Fun. Fun? He's getting his kicks from time with me, from trying to break me. I am not going to let that happen. We are not going to let it. The eclipse is tomorrow. That's when they. That's when he'll do his thing. That's when he's going to extract what he needs from my children. That's when he's going to kill my children. Well, at least we know where he is. Okay, think. Where is the, the best optimal place to receive the full effect of the eclipse? And don't say in Cornwall just because it's pretty, because we know he's not there. No. Exactly. That is the most powerful place. Front row seats. But how the hell am I supposed to get to the moon? Obviously this is a completely hopeless situation, but I do have links with NASA. Really? No, sorry, that was a joke. I'm so glad you came along. Very interesting turn of events. Welcome back to Merry Wine in North Yorkshire, where most southerners fear to tread, yet here I am. I'm outside the only shop in the village, which most people would call a monopoly, but here the money is flowing freely. I'll tell you, I've tasted their meaty vaps and they are very good. At the moment the shop is doing a roaring trade in these special glasses, which have been designed by science to protect one's eyes from the majesty of the sun. So one can wear these and be protected from the effects of the eclipse. I am feeling safer already. Safety first. You do not want the eclipse to be the last thing that you'll see. Right, lot to digest there. First of all, that will forever go down as one of my favourite quotes in anything ever. Because it's fucking fun. But that is legit something that I say. Like when I watch something, that just like makes me piss myself with laughter. And then I tell someone about it the next day. I'm just like, you've got to watch this, right? I'm just going to be showing you. It's fucking funny. And like, that's how you know that it, like it's pant wettingly funny. Um. Also, Alex with a Y. I'm glad that I trust her. I, th I think I still do trust Julian, but I don't know. Was Alex the female voice in the intro to the game? It makes me wonder if she's the, of the same kin as Gedeon, but maybe she banged her head or something. Ah. So we got to find the best place to view the eclipse. Top of a mountain. Or do we have to actually get to the moon? <sighs> Don't know. Sarah. I really need you right now. I mean, what do I possibly do in this situation? The police on my case. The... I feel at a loss. I really wish you were here. Are well, the really police really on the case, right though? Now. You have no idea. I can't understand why you want to leave. Why? 
I mean, I thought we were in love, you know? I really wish you were here. I really do. Mind you, all you puffing about with that garden. I've never understood your fascination with it. Or well, maybe there's a clue. Maybe the female oh, voice. Garden this. Dean, I'm doing the garden. I'm, I'm doing the garden again. I'm doing the garden. What's this boy? Ah, there we go. to a spaceship to go take us to the moon. There may be some kind of light source in there, but I don't know where that thing leads, so I aren't going in there without some kind of backup. Bit grammatically incorrect. I am not going in there. I am Weasel. Um... Wait, hold on. Nearly missed that. Huh. Forgot about this. Jesus, it still works. Why would you aim it directly at your face when you're switching it on? Is that your backup? When I said backup, I thought we were going to have to call Alex or Julian. There may be some kind of light. Uh, maybe, maybe we are, we are then. Oh, I thought it was just going to be. <laughs> as long as we've got the torch, we'll be fine. Um. I mean, let's just burn them. No answer. No. Is that revealing that Alex was my first choice, not Julian? No answer. No. Bexley? We've come round, even though we barely know each other. Like, I couldn't remember your name earlier, but do you want to come in a big tunnel with me? Maybe we should go to Alex's house then. Hey Dean. Uh yeah, it's a torch. Not too sure why you're showing me that though. So wanting to come with me into the tunnel. Oh, then there. We'll check the rest of the house. That's going to be the case. Nothing. So I can't call 999. We're just going to have to uh, have a little explore then, to see what we can find.
pub. There'll be some people at the pub willing to help us. Is there going to be something at the den? There's nothing here. Um, one of Ruby's head. Sure, why you're showing me that? Uh, well, seemingly no obvious answer. I'm going to go to the kitchen actually. Maybe we can do something on the laptop. It's just the same as last time. Um, let's just check the picture again. Right. Oh, we spotted the liar all right. Rupert Booth. You're supposed to be our officer. Uh, do I just use it? Okay, I'll just use it. Go back to my original point the and then that's your back up. <laughs> we saw the lights go on as we went down. Very Skyrim. Alex? Yeah. You will not believe what I've just found. The only way I can describe this is Sarah's dungeon. No, not a real dungeon. <laughs> yeah. I'll call you back if I find anything. Probably. Dirty dungeon. Dirty. Cards in a plastic cover there. SD card. I mean, what's that? Why can't we inspect that? Andy and Ruby's laptop I bought for them. I left. I had no idea that Sarah was going through this alone. She managed to keep all of this a secret from me for over 12 years. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about that. Well, there was a reason. Let's put it this way I don't think she was doing this to cheat on you. Can make me go into the house to use the laptop. Uh, 
Let's see what's on this. Dean, if you are watching this, I am gone. I have been keeping this secret for 12 years. And we're recording now. Right. Dr. Bernard Harper with Sarah Hamilton, 21st of May, 2009. Session number eight. How are you feeling today, Sarah? No change, Dr. Harper. No improvement since last Friday's talk? Talking doesn't fix things. Words alone won't stop this from happening. Okay. There it is again, this ideology that we're under threat from. And I'll quote you here, Sarah, extraterrestrial beings. Now, when I say that back to you, how does that sound to you? How does that make you feel? I know what you're doing. I get the mind games aspect of this, trying to get in here to see where my wiring went wrong. It didn't go wrong. We seem to be going around in circles you here. You came to me to get to the bottom of these thoughts. I'm here to help you, Sarah. Together, we can crack this case, so to speak. But I need you to answer the questions and only then can we begin to see if we can make progress, get some closure. I'll ask again. How does the term extraterrestrial beings make you feel? Fear. I feel fear. And why is that? What is it about these beings that conjure up this feeling of fear inside you? Dr. Harper, when I was 12 years old, my father disappeared. He left both me and my mother for three years. We had absolutely no idea where he went. No note, no clue, no nothing. He simply vanished without a trace. My father had made us all dinner that night. Pizza and chips. That was his limit when it came to cooking. I remember it like it was yesterday. As time passed, my mother and I both learnt to cope, which as you can imagine, wasn't easy. And then one morning, three years later, I came downstairs ready for school, and there he was, sat on the sofa with a cup of tea in his hand, watching TV as if he had never left. He had no idea he had been away. I'm... I'm not quite following. So your father vanished without a trace for three years Three and... years, yes. I didn't know what to do. He was just sat on the sofa like he was every morning, as if nothing had happened. My immediate reaction was to run over to him and give him the biggest hug in the world. Here you go, Sarah. Take a tissue. Tissue, please. Thank you. I hugged him forever. I asked him where he'd been. And what did your father say? He looked at me, confused. He insisted he'd not been anywhere and even reminded me that he'd made us pizza and chips that previous night. Where was your mother? She came downstairs when she heard the commotion. The first thing she did was slap him. <laughs> His face was a picture. So, okay, okay, um... I know. Doesn't add up, does it? There must be some kind of... Oh, there's an explanation. Go on. On my 18th birthday, my dad sat me down to talk. He told me to pay full attention. Our family, our family has always... Go on, Sarah. I'm listening. I'm sorry. It's just difficult to even put this into words without the inevitable judgment. And why is it difficult for you? Because it sounds so... Because it sounds so... Go on. Because it sounds so silly. Yes. There we are. It's okay. It does sound silly. Alien beings aren't a real thing, Sarah. It's a combination of past memories and your child's mind filling in the gaps with make-believe so that you could cope as a child with your father's disappearance. Making up these beings was your cope mechanism. And that's okay. But there comes a time when we need to let go of childish things. No! No! That's not it. That's not it at all. These things have been taking our family for years. Taking? It's been happening to my family through the generations. They need us. They need us so they take us for our DNA. 
They're dying. They're dying and they need something within our DNA to recreate, replenish their species. This is what my father was telling me. This is what happened to him. A few years before he died, he told me everything. I swear to God, it's all true. I know I sound like a lunatic, but please, for the love of God, just listen to me. Oh, Sarah, I think we should end today's session right here. We can try again Why next won't week. you believe me? They're going to come back again, and I know exactly who they're coming after. My kids! Do you want proof? Here! Here's your proof! What is that? A scar? It's where they implanted something in me, so they can come and take me back whenever they wish, wherever I might be. A tracking device. Imagine living with that fear! I see. Okay, as I said, we'll continue this next week, and Sarah... Please get some rest. Amazing. So... Just what the fuck was this? Sarah was speaking to a psychiatrist? She knew. All this talk of aliens and abductions. Sarah, how and why were you keeping all of this from me? Something's telling me that I might find something else down in that dungeon. I know when it comes to like Minecraft, every time I build something I have to give it a name. Like every different dwelling. Shack. Castle. Manor. Beach house. The dungeon, really. <laughs> Okay. So we go into the dungeon, we look for something. Mm. And we go Alex's house, that's our plan of attack. So she knew. She says a proof was a scar though that doesn't Yeah, someone on the black market could have drugged you and your kidneys. <laughs> and leave a scar. Get a metal detector. See if there's any metal in there. That's what she should have done. I mean, what is that? Maybe that's what we're going to uh, investigate now. Seven metallic rings, each one engraved with what appears to be random letters from the alphabet. What do I do with these? Is it one for the Sonic fans out there? You telling us we've got seven rings in hand? <laughs> We're gonna have knights with feet in sand. I've just gone back into the dungeon now. I don't want to, I don't want to go back in the dungeon. So must be something we can put the rings on. Right, let's go and uh talk to Alex. Dean. With that little close up of it going up, um, with every transition. Uh, can we show the memory card first? Hmm. 
not really sure why you're showing me that. Uh, I mean, I thought it would be obvious, but whatever. What is that? It looks like it should be important. It looks like there should be more pieces. Go and see if you can find some more pieces. Is that it? Is that all you've got to tell me? <laughs> all right. Um... Let's go back into the dungeon. But that, now that she said, like, go and see if you can find some more pieces. Let's see if we can actually now interact a little bit more. Yeah, we can. I mean, like, why couldn't we just pick them up at the same time? Oh, surely if you saw the rings and you saw this cylindrical object, you put two and two together. Why did we need Alex to tell us that? I just clicked off the uh, game again. It's the uh, only issue I'm having with this, really. It's all like the thing that I found in Sarah's hidden dungeon. It looks like there's several pieces missing. Seven metallic rings. What? I mean, I I would have thought combine, but we haven't got the options to combine them. So I think we need to take him back to Alex. We're too dumb to figure this out for ourselves. Alex, help. Hey, Dean. Alex? This looks like the final piece. The only question left now is, what do we do with these? Um, the metallic thing that I found in Sarah's hidden dungeon. It looks like there's several pieces missing. I thought we had seven rings. Oh, there they are. There's the rest of them. Why well, we had to click on them all individually, I don't know. <laughs> you did it, Dean. But what do we... I knew you'd work this device out. I always knew you would. I knew you'd figure out the truth. This is a message I recorded for you. A few years ago, the day of the last solar eclipse. I'm going to presume you listened to my tapes with Dr. Harper, so you know how significant eclipses are in my life, my family's life. I have the gene dean. And so do our children. Now, this is going to be difficult for you to process. I recorded this message in the case that I was taken. And because you're listening to this, I have been. And if I'm not there to protect you all, chances are they have or will have taken our children. Please, please understand that I never left you. Never. Now, this device, Dean, it can take you to the moon. The dark side of the moon. And I know, I know, it sounds like nonsense. You are our only hope. My love. My love. Dean, be that man I know you can be. Come and bring your family home. <laughs> now, listen, in order to use this device to transport you there, all you need to do is... In wow. We'll never know. It, it appears the message was too weak or it got intercepted before completion. Alex, 
what have I got myself into here? Hey. You're not alone. Remember? I'm with you at every step of the way. Imagine being like the one in a billion that walks about something and then it turns out you were right the entire time. What a good feeling that must be. Having said that, <laughs> this is a. Uh, that was really cheesy, but. It's Sarah's transporter. It helps me travel, shall we say. I wasn't going to start playing with this thing here. I mean, why ever go home to play with it? Or, uh... We go in the middle of the field, maybe the den. So what, can I play with it in the living room? Right, let's have another look at this thing. So we're looking for a seven letter word. Oh, that's an annoying noise. <laughs> I mean, my first thought was Gideon, maybe. I come back out. I had no idea that Sarah was going through this alone. I'm not a hundred. She's here in Ruby Lock with her mismatching pajamas as usual. Dad? Yeah. She loves Dad. Oh, charming. <laughs> Mum. Mm hmm. Can we play with some toys tomorrow? Well, we've got to go and do some gardening tomorrow. Okay. Gardening, gar gardener, gardens. Deck the halls with boughs of holly, fa la 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 ah, right. Wait, Bigfoot, that's seven, that's seven letters. It's got to be Bigfoot, hasn't it? Right. That's why I should Let's keep a look at this calling us Bigfoot. This has got to be it, hasn't it? Especially since that's like that they said like it was such a random nickname. Oh, look at that. Oh wow, it's on my Philips U lighting. I can figure out how to get back home.
on a spectacle. This torch will no doubt come in handy. The truth all along. So far, it looks like Alex has hit the nail right on the head, too. Whatever the hell this place was, they were catering for creatures that require oxygen. Huge vents were pumping cold oxygen into the corridors like no tomorrow. Ruby and Andy must be around here somewhere. I have to keep moving forward. Going back isn't an option. Don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Reminds me of classic. Sort of like PS1 video games when they do like the uh, full motion. Well not full motion but they try and make uh, a cinematic experience. Like the cutscenes in Resident Evil kind of thing. Or with uh, Sega games. Is there anything that can help us here? It's Sarah's transporter. I wasn't going to stop. Just Let's keep going forward. going forward that's what he said so we keep going forward how are we gonna know though There'll be a jump scare around the corner. under your nose. Gideon. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not Gideon. I'm still me. I'm still Julian. Our meeting was never an accident. Remember when we first met? At the hospital. Sarah just gave birth to Ruby. You were a porter. Exactly. You see, we've always been watching. Waiting. I don't think you'll quite understand the importance of your children. Importance? These are my kids. 
and you're going to have to get through me to get to them. Not a problem. Oh, God. That was an impactful Why? fight. <laughs> we need your children, Dean. We can't afford to lose them. Why are you doing this? What don't you understand? Without them, our species is over. Our species? But you're not one of them. I am, Dean. But what about our friendship? Our friendship, Julian. And the kids. The birthdays. Christenings. Christmases. Put it this way, you'd do anything for your own, yes? Don't you dare try to justify the abduction and killing of little kids, you sick! I'm their dad, and I'll do anything to protect them, anything. If that means killing you, then I'm past caring. I am past caring, believe me. And this, this whole thing that you've got going on here, whatever this is, it means nothing, nothing compared to the love I have for my children. I've been to the moon for them. And I'm taking them back home. Yes, I will do anything for my kids. Anything! <laughs> Is always right, eh? To open this damn thing. Oh, baby. You click on the thing. Sarah's transport. I bit I can use here. I'm on the moon. I don't think the reception <laughs> will be too great. It might be. House keys. Oh, God, what if we got the key on our house keys? One of this top. I have no idea. I'm not. Yeah, our reception's perfectly fine. Salim. You need their DNA. You don't need to be doing this. Please, just let them go. Look out there. Do you honestly think I'd get this far and then just say, Ah, fuck it, because you say so. <laughs> oh, you make me laugh.
Oh my god, is that? Should we attack? Should we have attacked him? Yeah, we should have attacked him. Can we just go forward? There we go. Okay, it's neither then. Have we got to use an item? Use some hacking. That's quite smart of them. I'll allow you the freedom of movement. After all, this will be the last you see of your children. And indeed, yourself. Listen, I know you're probably waiting for the sun to be in its optimal, to be able to, to recharge, whatever the hell that is. But regardless, you don't need to be doing this. But I am, Dean. I am doing. Is that house lost texture? Excitement is uh, at field a field pitch hearing Mary Wine. Where in the field behind me, over 1,000 revelers have joined together to watch the solar eclipse. However, it is not all plain sailing, as our reports from the One Cell Network that their entire network capability has gone dead. Me. You really want to honest answer? Answer. Because you were so determined to rescue them. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Oh, but it does. You see, watching you struggle, doing your absolute best, Kitty, such a. Why don't you just kill me now? Oh, no. No, no, no. You see, my game was one. Final thing you need to see. And that's happening in just over one game. Game! There it is again! I'm going to kill you. I'm a god! Neither you nor anyone can stop me. Are you really that fucking dense? I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I'll go on. I'll play it off. Bring it on. So bad. No! We ain't got time to rescue him. <laughs> Welcome to my game. Ruby, Andy, quick, come on guys, we need to get out of here. Dad, I knew you'd come. I told you I'd always be there for you. Mum is here somewhere. I know, I know. Follow me. No signal. Not after Alex did her thing. Hmm. Satellite and Gedia blew the damn thing up. Is there any way we can interact with this screen? Tramp. I wasn't going to stop. My house keys. Cuddles. One of Ruby's head. Andy and Ruby are left. I have no idea. I'm not a. This torch. Seemingly not. Are you two okay? 
We are now your head, Ad. Ruby, why was Cuddles in your den? When the last man came for us, we managed to make an escape from the house. We made it to our den before he took us. Why didn't you hear us, Dad? We were screaming for you. <laughs> Daddy was asleep. Listen, are you two okay? Did he hurt you? We're okay, Dad. We just want to go home. We'll In. be your mum where we belong. In. I need to figure out how to open this damn thing. It's Sarah's trans. I wasn't going. My house. Lucy. Cuddles. Andy and I left it. I don't need to look at Ruby's diary. The letter that I. One of. Ru the demand. The letter. This top. I had no. no, no. Hmm. My house. It's Sarah. I wasn't going. We need to figure out how to open the thing. I think there'll be some way of no idea. This top the left one the demand the left. I don't need to look at Ruby's diary right at the left cuddles. No signal. I have it's Sarah's I wasn't going to Look is that clear am I supposed to go like right, left, right, left, right? If I like press the wrong button and it ends up like setting the thing on fire. Right, so it's making that noise that we heard here. So the middle one's third. So it's bottom, top, middle. device in the first place.
Alex. We did it. No. You did it, I just... No, no. We did it. I wouldn't be here with my family right now if it wasn't for you. By the way, that tea drinking contains 11.6 billion <laughs> side of the moon too. <laughs> uh, gameplay. Um, it was similar to Contradiction. I'm, I'm happy it was very straightforward. I don't like it when games overcomplicate themselves. I kept it simple. Um, especially when you're trying to absorb yourself in the game. I don't like there being like so many like things to do and different things you could do and you, you know again just keep it simple and they did that they kept it to just a few characters as well which i quite like although it does make it easy to pick out which characters are so like going to like turn um highlight was it's fucking fun i love that that will live with me for the rest of my life and I quite like I, I I love it when games sort of like break the mechanics slightly, break the rules, and that last bit towards the end, be presented with do you save your kids or do you like attack Ged Gedeon? It turns out you're supposed to do neither. You're supposed to pick the phone. I like that. I really really like that. And the save that for the end when it was most impactful. Really good. Um. Some of the acting was cheesy, <laughs> like that fight between Dean and uh, <laughs> Junior. <laughs> there was like no impact. Like, there's no, no impact. Just throw some sound effects in. Like, that was like so. Oh, I was nearly in stitches. I, I had, I, I, I refrained from uh, making too much comment. Um. I mean, that's it really. I mean, I don't think it's as memorable as, you know, Contradiction. And certainly at, at Dead of Night, at Dead of Night's not a full on 
FMV game, but I did have Night still sort of like the king of the hybrid FMV um, and graphic genre, video game graphic genre. Um, but you know, this was a good play. Uh, I'd recommend it if you want to have something fun to play on like a Saturday night. Um, especially if you want to try and get the other two endings. I assume there might be more, I don't know. But that seemed to be, like I said, that seemed to be the pretty definitive ending to me. Um, I'll, leave, I'll leave the other endings open to interpretation. You know, I don't want to show everything in this game. You should try it yourself. So yeah, Dark Side of the Moon. Not, not bad at all. Uh, it knew its place. It was like, I'm not sure how much I paid for it, but it wasn't a lot of money. And it feels like a good good deal for like a couple of pounds that I paid for it. Um, so yeah, there you go. Let me know what you thought of the game in the comments below. Follow the channel for more gameplay. Um, leave a like and let me know what, what did you think of the format. Should I have my little face appear <laughs> during these games? Um, or for these cinematic games, should I just keep myself at a distance so you can enjoy the cinematic experience of the game? Look, I feel, I, I, it's just that I feel as though I would rather watch this without someone's face there. The commentary is fine, but I think for games like this, it's like take a step back. Hey, you know what, if something shocking happened that genuinely made me go, oh! make me break down in laughter then I'll show it there we go thank you all very much for watching I'll see you very soon for another video farewell Just, let's keep rolling into everything.